Ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you for joining us. Uh, my name is Ronnie Manjum, I'm your host. I'm uh, based here in uh, Boston, United States of America. I would like to welcome all our viewers uh, all over the world. If you're in the United Kingdom, Canada, uh, the United States here, uh, Africa, the Middle East, and uh, we also have some people come uh, tuned in here from Japan, the Ugandan diaspora in Japan. We welcome you. Thank you so much for being a part of this event. Later on, ladies and gentlemen, our patron, Dr. Maggie Chigozi, will be inviting uh, our keynote speaker who uh, is the US, new US ambassador to Uganda. She'll be giving us the keynote speech and uh, she'll be coming on a little later as one of those uh, crowning uh, moments for our uh, evening. In the meantime, I do have uh, a number of people. We have Uganda Revenue Authority. Uh, we also have uh, Equity Bank, we have Post Bank, and we, uh, we have uh, speakers from NIRA, uh, but I told and asked uh, these uh, people uh, uh, if they could kindly turn on the uh, camera so I can actually be able to see you, that would be great. I also would like to recognize and welcome in a special way our ambassador here in the United States, uh, Ambassador Moore, you're very welcome. We are able to see you clearly. Um, uh, let's uh, see if we can uh, get someone from Post Bank. Ladies and gentlemen, these events are made possible by sponsors who are able to pay for the advertising that many of you saw on air. So uh, I just wanted to make sure that if Doreen is available and ready to speak on behalf of Post Bank, uh, you should be able to go right now. Is Doreen ready? To you. Um, Doreen here. Do, are you, Solomon, are you able? Yes, please. So Doreen, if you can kindly use five minutes, you are sponsor. First of all, we would like to appreciate you. And also to say that we appreciate Mr. Julius Kaketo's support over the years. Florence is one person everybody in the diaspora knows very well. We would like to uh, basically ask and also see what do you have in store for the diaspora? so we can actually be able to hear from you as our key uh, sponsor as well. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Um, my name is Doreen Rutazana and I'm the head of business and institutional banking. I'd like to appreciate the sponsors, uh, all key stakeholders and the diaspora members that are um, viewing right now. Um, with Post Bank One, we've been doing this for the last eight years. Uh, regarding diaspora banking, we have a very exciting and big book of over 50,000 customers um, where we've been able to bank them, uh, support their remittances, and also give credit to these members. So um, uh, my role here really is to re-echo in terms of our capabilities. Um, our customers are still able to do the bankings with us, we are still mobile vans and vehicles that are in places where most of the banks have actually not reached. So we are able to, to go there using our vans and bank these people. So um, my key role here is to re-emphasize our diaspora class account, um, where the customers can send money to this account. There are no maintenance charges. There are no monthly fees. As you send your money, it's remain the way it is. We are able to, we have a, a very dedicated relationship management model where a team of, of staff are able to uh, communicate to these customers um, sending for any queries, any, any financial advice, any support, any inquiries regarding your remittances. We have a team that is on call. We are an email away. You can open your account online from where you are your, when you go to our website. You, there is an account opening form. You can actually just get on, fill in the form, and the detail will come right to our offices, and then we're able to get in touch with you. We have credit um, as a bank. We are a national bank, and that means that the goal is to ensure that we, we bank almost every Ugandan, and yes, financial inclusion is key as part of our strategy. So yes, we have the best pricing that you'll find on the market that is so friendly. We are the leading agricultural bank in terms of credit facilities because of our pricing and uh, uh, add, adding to our distribution network. So yes, in terms of investment, we, we should be the go-to place that you should come to. Um, our contacts and um, emails are available on the website and I'll be sharing in the chat with the team so that anyone can reach us that, but just re-emphasize 
thank you for the team that is banking with us because it's, uh, it's over eight years. We have a very big um, customer base. We are in, we have customers in the US, in the UK, in Scandinavia, uh, in the Middle East that has been the biggest growth for this year. And we look to having more customers there. So thank you. We have a lot of investment we've done with um, the diaspora team in terms of uh, realistic, real estate financing, agricultural financing, and also personal needs. So yes, we are still committed to do that and we are able to, to support in those areas. And then um, in terms of reaching your beneficiaries, if you have uh, relatives that you'd want to access these funds, we are still able to see how to add agents uh, with you in line. So we are able to also have joint accounts, add agents to that account, have um, uh, uh, individual accounts. We even have business accounts of people that are actually not in the country. So um, um, just to thank everyone, to thank the organizers, to thank the diaspora team, and we echo that we are here to continue doing business with you and committed to give you the best pricing there is as a Ugandan citizen. Thank you so much. Well, that's what I'm talking about in terms of managing time. Thank you so much, Doreen. That is definitely one of those well uh, uh, summarized uh, presentations. Let